Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Look at that. The Central Bank of Iraq. That's their new building. The tallest building in Iraq. Look how big that is. That is a multi-million dollar building being built right now in Iraq. And guess what's happening? They're building this with the exchange rate of 1,320 dinars. We're going to get into that here in just a moment. No way, Pimpy. They can't do this new budget without a rate change. They got too many major projects. What's, what, it, what does it have to do with anything? So I grabbed just some. Some super major projects. $10 million or more dollars that have been completed since 2000. Says Iraq has seen significant infrastructure development and reconstruction efforts since the year 2000. The country has undertaken various projects to rebuild and improve its infrastructure, including transportation, energy, water, and telecommunication. While it's challenging to provide an exhaustive list of all completed infrastructure projects in Iraq during this period, several notable projects stand out. This is only a handful compared to the Many, 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 many projects that these guys have completed with a low exchange rate. So that whole concept of, well, they're not going to get anything done because they have too low of an exchange rate. It's just bullshit, you guys. The Baghdad International Airport expansion, Basra Port Development, highway construction. Iraq has invested in the construction and rehabilitation of highways to improve connectivity and transportation across the country. This includes the construction of new highways and the repair of existing road networks. So when you keep getting told that they can't do projects or any infrastructure done in Iraq with this exchange rate, <laughs> that's just BS. Railroad network upgrades. Efforts have been made to upgrade Iraq's railroad network, including the introduction of new trains and improvements to existing rail infrastructure, Say what? How are they able to do this with such a poor exchange rate? Energy infrastructure. They have power plant construction. Renewable energy in initiatives. Oil refinery upgrades. Their oil refineries were so outdated. They had all kinds of damage. They were losing millions of dollars every year because of leakages and the way the whole thing was constructed. They had to fix everything there. Water infrastructure projects. Water treatment plants. Irrigation system enhancements, dam construction and rehabilitations, telecommunication infrastructure projects, fiber optic networks, mobile network upgrades, internet infrastructure development. So stop falling for that crap that there's no way Iraq can get all these major projects that they have listed in their budget unless they change the exchange rate. That's false. It's already accounted for. The budget's already created with the proper amount of money set aside for these projects. It's just done in Iraqi dinars with the current exchange rate. So let's go down and answer some of these questions that you guys put under the in the comment section. <clears throat> FYI, the hell with all those other so-called gurus. I'm here because you have opened my eyes and only speak on facts, not hype. I have dropped one other site and hardly go to anyone other than your page and currency with the twist. Because I only want the truth. No matter how much, it may not be what I want to hear. Pippi, keep doing what you're doing. And thank you. God bless. I appreciate the kind words. Look, I'm not saying I'm flawless. Come on now. I'll make a mistake here and there. But at least I'm not going to mislead you guys. Like this whole thing at the beginning here. When you hear all the time from Guru saying, No way in heck are they going to be able to do all these projects with the current exchange rate. They act like they've never been done before. I guess they thought Iraq was sitting around in mud huts, in caves, all these years once uh, the United States uh, went in and invaded Iraq. No, they've continued to do major projects. They budget for them, but in their current currency. All this stuff is taken into consideration, so don't fall for it. They obviously can do major projects with the current exchange rate, so don't be misled by that one. Thank you again. You keep us grounded. Blessings to you and to you as well. I appreciate that. From what I heard from your videos, you found an old article that said that in 2026, it was possible that the 12 to 1 rate would be revisited. You even made the claim that it was definitely possible 
to change before then. You are the realest and I appreciate your disclosure of all info. You are very welcome. So I explained what the 12 to 1 exchange rate was m many times now. That's something that's out there. I just thought it was very interesting that they would bring that up all over again. Now, I'm not saying that's what the exchange rate is going to be. I'm saying the article alludes to it. <laughs> Good info as always. Thanks, Pimpy. Likely different from us in Canada, but that's why we consult our tax accounts. Yeah, look, you guys, when it comes to the whole taxing, everybody, no matter, even, even though I showed everybody the proof, uh, they keep making excuses after excuse. So the bottom line is, when the time comes, consult your tax expert, period. People are in desperate mode for the IQD to revalue. They will latch on to anything. Discernment be damned. These videos are all about clickbait and nothing else. These videos are all over the YouTube and are gaining popularity. Mark Z is a popular spoof creator. As long as there is money to be made, it will continue and most likely get worse. Well, you hope not worse and you hope that they stop making up crap. Just deal with those people who tell you the truth. These desperate people have been desperate for years. I think a lot of people are anxious to uh, get this over with. There's no doubt about that. They're getting wealthy off of all these people waiting for the IQD. I'm not sure who's getting wealthy, but, uh, you know, if they are, hey, more power to them. If uh, they found a way to make money off of uh, bringing you guys into their group and you go ahead and you go into their group and you pay them money, well, that's on you, not them. Also, Pimpy, I have a question. So the IQD is paired with the U.S. dollar, a fiat dollar. When a fiat dollar goes bye-bye, they can say it will be 50 to 1. That's not necessarily incorrect. One is worthless and one has value. In your opinion, how will we know the real value? Will it be based on gold or something else? How will we determine the exchange? Well, we don't determine it. It will be determined for us. So when you go to figure out what the exchange rate is, yeah, that's not something that we determine. Each country is responsible for determining their exchange rate. Ours will be determined. If it goes 50 to 1, then it's 50 to 1. I'm not saying it is, but I'm just saying for the sake of your example, if that's what the exchange rate is going to be because the dollar crashes so hard, you know, who knows? We'll see. You never mislead anyone, Pimpy. I try like hell not to. We're going to be really fortunate if this all pans out in the end is turning into a real circus. Yeah, look, you guys, if they find out that they can make money by misleading you, because their, you know, their subscriber list goes up, because people hear them and they go, oh, I like what this person has to say. The more important thing is, are they being truthful? Are they being honest? Term guru means teacher. How many of them are actually teaching you anything? They're not, they're just regurgitating news articles. I go through and I explain things in detail. I do my best to educate the people that listen to my channel. That doesn't mean I'm going to be popular because of it, because <laughs> God knows I catch flack all the time. But I'd rather go through and do my best to educate you guys so you know what to expect and you're not misled. Fantastic news. Thanks for sharing. You're very welcome. Thanks, Pimpy. You are very welcome. When I get a few minutes, probably tomorrow, I'm going to look up that executive order for you and highlight what page and paragraph explaining that the dinar is exempt from taxes. I tried to find if there's any kind of exemptions from taxes and I can find anything that says that people who are invested into the Iraqi dinar are exempt from any taxes. There's no exemptions that I can find, but if you can find one, let me know. I appreciate it. Thanks, Pimpster. You're very welcome. Hope everyone has your receipts or it is going to be trouble. What did Mark Z say? No, you don't need your receipts. Wrong. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you don't have your receipts, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're going to assume that you had it longer than a year. But if you had your Iraqi dinar, you know, it hasn't been a year yet. That's considered short term. That's a different kind of taxes. So wherever you buy your Iraqi dinar from, I'm sure you should be able to get a printout from them if it hasn't been very, very long. But yeah, just reach out to them and see what happens. Great video. Thank you. I listened to your video and what you said was to divide the U.S. dollar by 12. And that is what you can expect to possibly get in 2016. Uh, no, not divide the U.S. dollar by 12. It says you would get either, you would exchange your Iraqi dinar either one U.S. dollar for 12 Iraqi dinars or one dinar for 12 U.S. dollars. But you don't need to divide it. I commented on that video and said something to the effect that not buying it 
because of what we see happening over there with countries investing in Iraq because they must know more than we do as they have insider information and know that the country will have a great GDP or they never would invest to actually even MLE, the GDP, even greater. To say that you'd get a one US dollar for 12 dinar sounds insane. Yeah, it does, but that's what it is. And I said that the CBI said that they expect to hit by the 15th of January. Well, today's the 12th. We got three more days. I'm not adding you down like others, but I'm just saying what I saw. Well, I appreciate that you saw that. You got three days. We'll see what happens. If I were you, I'd let it all go because it sounds childish to show a hurt ego. Be a cowboy and bite the bullet like a man. When you're wrong, admit it. And don't jump to defense as it looks like a tantrum to this outsider. <laughs> I'm not wrong, nor do I need to bite the bullet. So I tell you what there, Jonathan. In three days, I want you to come back and apologize. Because be the bigger man. Be a cowboy. Bite that bullet. Come on and say, you know what? I'm sorry. I was wrong. What I said was wrong. And you were right. So don't forget to do that, all right? And I tell you what. If you're right, I'll come on a video and I'll say, guess what? I was wrong. Jonathan was right. I don't have no problem with it. So you're talking to the wrong person. When I make a mistake, I will come on a video and let others know that, oh, I made a boo-boo. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm? Sounds to me like you're the one throwing a tantrum. Well, six more days, actually three now, and we'll find out what's going on. I hope you're right about this. We're going to find out, you guys. Look, everybody out there, you know who they are. You've been listening to them. What did they say? Between the 13th and the 15th, isn't that what you guys heard? Well, the 15th is coming up really quick. Trust me, they've already got all their excuses prepared because they know better. Pimpy, all I did was ask chat GDT AI and ask if the dinar went to 12 to 1. Chat GPT AI said every 100 million dinars would be 75,000 US dollars. So if that was the rate, I'd sell mine at, I'd sell my two and a half million. I was going for more like 84 cents against a dollar. Either way, it would be good. So that'd be interesting that chat GTP is uh, telling people what the exchange rate is going to be because I don't even think they know at this moment. The part he remarked about talking that uh, in a heartbeat was taken from the comment section because I'm the one who said it. Is that where it comes from? Yeah, but MH said God told her it will be $3.78 billion per one USD. Come on, Pimpy. Wait, what? <laughs> 3.78 billion per one dollar. That's a hideous rate, man. It's terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, those fake content creator accounts should be banned. Seems like those accounts comes out in more and more every week. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen a ton of them. The Dinar Guru website is full of shit. They never post actual what anyone says. Only copy and cut wording. And put it together. Make it sound like uh, what others are saying. Uh, the Dinar Guru one. All they're doing is, is reposting articles from other websites. They're not doing anything to alter them. They're just reposting information that they get. Which makes it a good website to go to. Because you know they pretty much go through and grab articles. And make it easier for you to do your research. Tish Washington said Sedini would be in Washington D.C. by midweek. That'd be nice. I wonder what for. But I'm curious. I love when this PP changes stuff around or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure who the PP is, but okay. Put my dinar in a Roth IRA over five years, no taxes due. If that's the trick, then you better jump on it. <laughs> Listen to the Treasury direct. Get your Egger codes and click. Have your tender registered with the Treasury. <laughs> I swear, man. You people come out the woodworks with some interesting things, man. Seriously, I don't know where you guys get all this crap. And I'm pretty sure it's all them idiot gurus out there. Telling, telling you all this stuff. Just uh, deal with your professional tax person. Inman hands me an IQD note for $25,000 for free. Who can tax that? It depends on what you get back when you go to exchange it. But you admitted to getting it backwards. Yeah. But then later on, I changed. I have two articles. Both of them say two different things. I'm just saying either way, the 12 to 1 exchange rate, I'm explaining to people where it comes from. 
I never see people get so excited about the idea that I might get something wrong, man. I, I'm not even kidding. It's like a major thing to people in the dinar community. That's how rare I ever screw up. They're excited when I do. They jump up and down and celebrate. If you guys get so excited about people screwing up, every day you guys must be posting crap on other people's videos uh, other than mine because uh, they're wrong all the time. <laughs> Reminds of Zephy. Take a vacation. Dude, who's Zephy and uh, whoever that is? Ah, Pimpy, you diabolical little devil. Triple reverse psychology. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> hey, what's up with the Iraq social post you saw from Chilla? I think what you're talking about is the Baptist party. That's the only thing I can think of. The Baptist party starting to protest a lot over there. So here's something you guys got to take in consideration. This is why it's such a pain in the ass to get anything accomplished over in Iraq. First, look at the ethnic. You have the Arabs who make up 75 to 80%. The Kurds, 15 to 20%. The Eurasians, 1 to 2%. The Turksmen, 2 to 3%. Look at all the different, all the different ethnical backgrounds. Then you have religion. Shia, Sunni, Christianity. Two of these I can't pronounce. <laughs> okay. And then you have the different tribes right here. And then you have political groups. Islamic Dawa Party, Iraqi National Congress, Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, Kurdistan Democratic Party, SCIRI, Batters Organization, the Arab Socialist Bath Party. Do you see what I'm saying? You, so why is it really hard to get things accomplished in Iraq? Because you have to take all of these things in consideration. Religion, political parties, the ethnical backgrounds, the different tribes. You know, there's such a diversity of backgrounds over in Iraq. You know, it's really hard to get anything accomplished because uh, everybody's out for their own instead of just being unified and doing what's good for everybody else. That's the problem. All of these different backgrounds. They have to take all these things in consideration whenever you're trying to move Iraq forward. Not very easy to do. Sorry, Mr. Knowledge. Part of the game. No, nah, not a problem. <laughs> I know, after years of playing it, I know it. A friend of a friend told me that you were Howard Hughes's. <laughs> yeah, Pop slipped me a couple bucks here and there. Oh my God. That channel, Iraq Dinar Guru channels belong to Melanie Hines. Oh, is that what it is? So you guys, there are a bunch of these fake channels out there. There's a ton of them, man. And they are for clickbait. You'll see it say something like, the uh, CBI said today the exchange rate is 322. Or the uh, IMF says the Iraqi exchange rate today is one to one. So those are uh, channels that everybody is uh, talking about. <laughs> Again, no human is twisting your words. There are at least two dozen Iraqi dinar AI sites. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. So if it's talking like a machine, I, you know, that's probably not a particular channel I'd want to listen to. I don't want to listen to somebody that's a human. You know what I mean? Why is it an AI is quoting you? Or should I say misquoting you? It's not so much that I think that it's an AI as much as I think people type the words and then they have it read by a machine. So you could choose the voice that you wanted to read your message. So it's not AI. It's just uh, more that they're just reading what's in front of them. You can type something up if you don't want to use your voice and have a machine read back uh, what you're writing. And I think that's what that site is. It'd be more for like the, uh, the hearing impaired. You know, they pick an article, they can't really see it, and they'll have something read it for them. That's what that thing is. It's like reading the article for them. They're not using their voice because they're obviously hiding who they are. That site and others are AI boys. They are not gurus like you and others. They're not the one who misquoted you. That's all computer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not AI. It's just a computer reading back whatever somebody typed up. Not talking about the UPMP, but the other guys. Okay. All right, all right. People don't listen, or if they do, they half-ass listen and make shit up just to sound valid. All you have to do is listen to them. When they say, well, my insider, my special intel person, they do that because they want to feel important. Well, more power to you. Let's concentrate on the possible EBS, Bitcoin ETF, Iraq possible RV or RI. Spent your time and brain more wisely reporting the news. If you wish to help people, let's go Iraq. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. 
He should be called Pumpy. That's very funny. <laughs> people do listen without playing with their phones. Do you people listen? I am seeing people saying things about Cat Williams' interview. He didn't even say. I cannot stand stupid. Get off the phone and learn something and listen with both ears. Yeah, I understand what you mean there. <laughs> you think too highly of yourself. You did post 12 to 1 on the headline of your post. Other content creators didn't want to waste their time listening to you. Can't blame them. Well, okay, if you say so, good. Don't listen to me. So what is so big about the 12 to 1? That's real. That ain't fake. Good Lord. <laughs> the difference between headlines and what he said in a video, and it's a big difference. Others still, what he said, and twist the wording. Get it right. Yeah, that's actually the truth. That's the issue. Stupid people do not know they're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Damn computer voice, what's the matter? Got a weasel voice or something? That or it's somebody that you'll recognize. Sure, more BS? Yeah, sure, if you see it that way. Yeah, no problem. And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, as I stated before, it's, it's very apparent that people like to be lied to. And they don't want to know the truth. And the reason why these gurus out there have no clue what the hell they're talking about is because they're not really truly educated on what's going on. They don't even take the time to research any of the articles or learn about them. That's the honest to God truth. And that's why I challenge all of them all the time, any of them to come on my platform. I can go on theirs, they can go on mine. They never do it because they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. Telling people that the new budget cannot pass with the current exchange rate is false. What do you think Iraq has been doing for 23 years? Sitting on her thumbs? No. Look at right in front of you is a picture of the Central Bank of Iraq. That's tens of millions of dollars to build this sucker. Did they have to wait for a new exchange rate? No. It's already taken into consideration when they calculate out for the budget. The new highways, the new dams, new infrastructure. They've been working on it now for quite some time. And they've done it all with the piss poor exchange rate. That's the kind of thinking that gets a lot of people misled. It's just BS. Anyways, that's it for now. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll catch you later. I'm out.